What should you pay for a 2021 Toyota Tacoma? Brand new. It's cold out here. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It is a cold day out here. Look at the Jeep sitting out here. Got junk and stuff all over it. Gonna need to wash that pretty soon, I guess. We'll take care of that in a minute. Anyway, gonna go for a quick ride. Gotta run a couple errands. Gotta go to the mall, I guess, right? Gotta get the mall crawler out to the mall. Let's go. <music> Just a quick little trip to the mall, not really the mall, it was actually to Lowe's to do a little research uh, for a little project I have coming up for the Tacoma back here. But anyway, on to today's video, should you buy or what should you pay rather for a 2021 Toyota Tacoma? Now, I did a little research, I actually went out, I built one and I decided to build one, same as what I have right here, and that's a 2021 uh, TRD Tacoma Off-Road. And by the way, let me say, somebody had sent me a comment stating that you couldn't get a manual transmission um, in anything other than, I think, I don't know, there were two models and the TRD Off-Road wasn't one of them. That's not true. You can at least still build a manual transmission uh, TRD Tacoma Off-Road. But anyway, I decided to build an automatic since that seems to be more popular amongst all you folks out there. So what I did, I'll run through the options real quick and then I'll tell you what you should pay for a 2021 Toyota Tacoma. All right, so the starting MSRP, 37,280, no big secret. I chose the lovely, vibrant voodoo blue, of course. Um, I went with uh, an interior color of black, I guess, not that you have a big choice but black with the leather trim. So the leather seats like I have in mine right now. And then packages, I had to choose a package and I tried to get one as close to what I have. And I picked the TRD premium off-road package, double cab automatic transmission. It's funny, they have a separate package for the manual transmission. But anyway, what does that include? The multi-terrain uh, view or the multi-view terrain monitor, whatever they call it, it's the 360 degree camera system. Uh, it also includes color matched mirrors. In my case, I went with black and took those off anyway, so, but you have to pick something. Um, LED fog and headlights, got to have those, I think. Uh, again, leather seats, auto headlights. I had another question recently as to whether or not Toyota offered auto headlights. I don't believe they did in the 2020s. Now, I'm not positive of that, but I can tell you they do for the 2021. So that would have been nice to have. Not enough of a reason for me to go trade mine off on one, but still would have been nice to have. A moonroof, gotta have that. A JBL audio system, didn't have to have that, but it's part of this package to get the other things I wanted. So I guess you'd get a JBL audio system. And then navigation. Again, with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you probably don't really need a navigation because you can plug your phone in and have the most up-to-date maps you can get without having to pay to update your in-truck radio system. So that package added $6,000 to the price. I added a bed lighting kit, you know, the LED lights in the bed, because frankly, the cost to do them is next to nothing compared to what you'd pay to do it yourself. I mean, it's pretty equivalent, you know, $149. 
And then of course, the old delivery processing and handling fee. You've gotta have that. That's $1,095. So grand total for the truck that I built, this is where you'd be starting if you went in, the MSRP, $44,524. Not too far off from what my truck was. I think my truck was $42,000 some odd dollars uh, last year. So here's what I think, my opinion. A good savings, a good price that you should pay, 3% off of that MSRP, which is $1,336, or a grand total of $43,188. Of course, that's before tax and tags and licensing and back scratches, whatever else you might have to pay, but $43,188. 6% off. By the way, I would call that 3% a good deal. It's not a great deal. It's not a stupendous deal. It's a good deal. Now, better, a better deal, 6% off. This is what I think you really should shoot for, 6% off or $2,671. That would make the price of the truck $41,853. That, I think, is a better deal. It's, it's a pretty good deal. Now, the best, the top tier. You are a superior negotiator. They want to move the truck. It's the end of the month, end of the year, maybe end of the model, who knows. This is the best deal in my experience that you, you could expect to get, and that is 8% off. 8% off is $3,562. Not really out of the question either. I've done it several times, but $3,562, which would then make the price of the truck $40,962. I think that's probably the best deal that you're gonna get, especially right now. Given that the truck is in short supply, although I do think inventories are starting to increase, I went to a local dealer a few days ago, drove around, and they probably had, I don't know, 15, 20, maybe a little more Tacomas sitting on the lot of various trim levels and stuff. Uh, but they did have a pretty good selection, I think, especially for the times that we're in right now or what we're coming back from. So anyway, those are the numbers. That's what I think you should expect to buy a Toyota Tacoma for right now. Leave a comment. Let me know. Have you gotten better? I'd love to know if you've gotten better than 8%. And what's your secret? Now, Keep in mind, I'm not talking about what your price was once you traded it in or put money down or all that. That is something completely separate. I want to know what your negotiated price was on the truck alone before any of that stuff. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It's all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.